We're here in Palmetto Dunes at One Downwind, and this is not on the market yet. It's coming on for a million three forty nine, probably tomorrow. And so I'm able to get a quick peek at it. I want to give you a look around the front of the house. It's a one-story home, about three thousand square feet. It has a fabulous fig tree uh, in in the front here, even though it's it's fall, so the the leaves have fallen off of it at this point but the owner tells me that it produces some fabulous figs. Uh, but it's a cute home in really nice condition. Looks like a newer roof. It has a detached garage, hardy plank siding, which is great. Nice walkway up to the front door. Coming in, you come into tile floors. The ceilings are lower. It's an older home, but you'd have some nice light coming in through the skylight. A little closet, coat closet here. Nice living room with a wood burning fireplace. A second living space over here that you if you wanted to close it off, you could, but these rooms all sort of just flow into each other. You could definitely do something fun out here, either with a, a pool table, perhaps, or a little bar area. All new sliders across the back, newer sliders across the back. And they've opened it up into the, the kitchen. You do have a couple different floor, different floors in here, but I think you could. I have some ideas on on that that I can can review with you later. Nice, nice uh, counter height bar. Newer kitchen with lots of drawers. soft clothes. Definitely a more contemporary look. You have access out to the to the uh, garage and driveway here. If you came in this door, you come right into the laundry. Nice pantry here. Looks like the windows are newer. Half bath in here. good amount of storage and I'm going to come back into the foyer and we'll go back through the way we came. And check out the bedrooms. So we have the first bedroom in the front, a little fog glass on that, that window, but otherwise in good condition. Also notice the new new doors to the bedrooms. There are two closets in here in this bedroom. These are they've taken out the um, hollow doors and replaced them with solid doors. You come down this little hallway into another bedroom. And this bedroom actually has a side entrance. It has its own bath. So two bedrooms down here, barn doors on, on this one. And this would be the bath that that would service that bedroom.
kind of a fun tile, contemporary tile in, in there. And then last but not least, the master bedroom. Nice closets in here. And then this goes out to the to that porch that we saw. A little soaking tub. Nice tile work. Walk-in closet, another walk-in closet, which you could definitely create one of these two closets in here and make a nice owner's suite. You could wall this off so that to keep the master bedroom a bit more private if you wanted to do something else with this room other than have it be part of, be right off of the, the master. Coming out into the backyard, nice backyard, nice and private. Great pool. Could definitely create a little fire pit area out here. All of this overlooking, they just had this resurfaced. But all of, the, all of this overlooking the, uh, this little lagoon, this is not a lagoon that go, takes you out into the 11 mile lagoon, but it is a nice, nice little lagoon nonetheless. You probably could do a dock out here. That's the neighbor's dock over there. Here's a look at the home from the back. It's a great pool, great yard and great pool. And then of course you have a little seat, sitting area off to the side. That is off the kitchen. So I hope this helps. This is one downwind really great yard. There's a lot of tile inside, um, but other than that, I, which I think potentially could be changed fairly easily, um, other than that, I, I think it's, it's, really, it's really fabulous at, at the price and about an 11 minute walk down to the beach, four minute bike ride. So I will talk to you soon.